one small prize? Miss the best hero of them all, did you? Me and Mira had been busy looking for King Atlan's long-lost trident. Turns out it would give its holder mastery over the seas, which would be kind of useful when going up against my little pro. After a bunch of searching, running, climbing, falling, jumping, and some flying, whew, we finally got a clue to where it was hidden. I was glad to get back to swimming. No, not that kind of swimming. Yeah, that's better. And faster. Very important when you're trying to get away from so many teeth and so many claws. But we got rid of them. Piece of fish cake. And finally, in the depths of the hidden sea, we found Atlan's trident. Yeah! <laughs> After that, I just had to unite the Seven Kingdoms and convince them that I could be their king. But Orm wasn't going to make it easy, and the biggest water fight ever was about to start. It turned out uniting the Seven was easier said than done, especially with Orm on our case. Freeing those fishermen would be a good place to start. some new friends. Orm didn't seem too happy about it. Probably why he sent some of his buddies after us. trench in battle, we'd won their respect and convinced them to change sides. Things were looking up. Just then, Orm managed to knock out the power. If we wanted to communicate with King Narius, we'd have to find a way to fix it. didn't seem to think too much of me winning our little popularity contest. It was time to teach him a lesson or two about being a king. This looks like trouble. Good thing I like trouble. Okay. 
seems that Orm still had a few friends. They weren't going to make this easy. tried calling for more help, but it looked like his plans were about to be all washed up. Like that, the tides turned on Orr. 